Hey YouTube, today's video is a bit of a random video, I guess. Um, no, nothing hugely significant really happened today. Uh, so I pulled together a few bits of video just to uh, to show you kind of what's up, what's happening. Um, this first one is, uh, it was one of those things that uh, got advertised on the Silver Forum. Um, sometimes things get advertised and I'm not really interested. Sometimes things get advertised and they're too expensive and I can't afford them. But this particular one was uh, was advertised and uh, and within, a within about 10 minutes I decided to buy it. And that's because I love Libertads. And uh, I know you guys know that I'm a bit Libertad crazy, and it's almost Libertad season. But we've got a 2009 one tenth BU Libertad, and uh, it wasn't a year that I had. It was a good price from uh, a guy called Sovereign, who is uh, on the Silver Forum, and uh, came in the post today. Very happy with it. Really, really nice little coin. Very few of these are actually graded, so I'll probably do what I usually do with these coins, get it graded by NGC, send it along the end of June in the next grading, and see what uh, NGC makes of it. I think only two or three of these coins have been graded. Really, the population is absolutely tiny. Um, I think a lot of these coins, I don't know where they all go really, because I never really see them about, some of the older ones. So uh, there you have it, Libertad. Next little bit of video snippet is a reminder to me and a reminder to you guys that the Britannia is uh, due to be released in July this year and it'll be a big anniversary Britannia this year. So keep your eyes open for announcements. There'll probably be relatively few sets and they'll probably go very quickly. So uh, take a look at those as soon as you hear about them. And if you want to buy one, pick one up quickly because they really won't hang around, particularly in a special anniversary year. Okay, so the last bit of video I've got for you in this uh, little kind of snippet video is, um, it's not really about the Panda Temple of Heaven number two, which is this particular uh, bit of video, but it's about uh, COAs and the importance of COAs. And if ever you get offered coins that are graded, try and pick up a COA. If you can, try and get the original box, the original capsule. The more of stuff you can pick up, the better. And I particularly wanted to um, to take a note that sometimes, like on this particular COA, you get the signature of the designer. And uh, there's a lot of people who follow particular coin designers. And if you can pick up COAs with uh, good numbers on that may be lucky or the initials of the, uh, of the designer, then when you come to sell them, um, this can really add a reasonable uh, premium to the to the amount you get for the coins. So, uh, I mean, I always have my coins graded anyway, but I always make sure I keep the COA, I keep the box, I keep the original capsule. So you always have the potential, if you need to, of deslabbing the coin, putting it back in its original uh, case, and then if you can get a better premium without the slab, then you always have that option in the future. So. Uh, this particular one, I got number 44, which is a kind of uh, pretty good number. And every one of the COAs were hand-signed by the designer. And uh, he, has a, he has a big cult following in, in, uh, in China. You can see he has his signature on several PCGS coins. Um, and really, you know, that cult following adds a good premium. So watch out for it and, uh, and see whether you can find those kind of coins to add to your collection.